Your Excellency, our 65th President, Dr. Edgar Chagwalungu, our Chairperson, State Council, Sakwiba Skota, our Vice Chairperson, Madam Kateka, colleagues, our Secretary Generals who are here, good afternoon. I've been given a very difficult task by the Chair <laughs> to respond to an off-the-cuff comment, but what the mind thinks, so is the position of the person. You cannot just go on the street and say something which is not in your mind. I want you, dear colleagues, to understand that uh, President Hakainde Hichilema yesterday was extremely serious about suspending the Constitution of the Republic. You can't say it any worse than that, even if he desires to go back to colonial legislation and the pull of acts like the Sedition Act. What the President said yesterday in the House, what the President said yesterday before the people of Zambia is an attempt to cite the Zambian people that he is the almighty and all-powerful leader on the continent of Africa who can wake up in the morning and address the nation that God has given to his charge in the house where everybody pledges that they shall be faithful to the constitution of the republic and attempt to say that the constitution authorizes him singularly to move the election date from 13th August 2026 to a period eight or nine years later than the five years of the term of parliament. We as a people gave to ourselves a constitution of the republic. And we said that the term of parliament shall be five years. That includes the term of the presidency. Whether he likes it or not, 13th August 2026 is the date without any hole, without any mistake, without any lacuna yeah. that the people of Zambia gave to themselves at the next election date. But on the African continent, there are some like my brother, my president, who, when power is sweet and the chair begins to make them feel that they are good to eat, can wake up and say, I shall suspend the wishes of the people. Yeah. This country has been through this road before. We recall 2000. Maybe you, my colleagues from the press, you are Gen Z's, so maybe you are still young. <laughs> But some of us were of age. We were about to be burnt alive. We were about to be killed by bullets from crooks who had been released from remand. We are now at this crossroads where our future is threatened by a suspension of our desired process. And we want to say this to the president that uh, as the United Quach Alliance, we want to inform him that we shall not allow him to do that. Yes. You know, we are not going to allow him to, to do that because we gave him five years. Yes. He gave us a 10-point plan. Yes. I'm sure now <laughs> it's a... Uh, is uh, two points left. He's not yet about to do that. Among the points plan people gave him was to feed them, was to give them light, was to give them uh, medicine, was to do roads. We gave him, he told us that he was going to do it. We believed him. 
We never told him that he was to change the constitution single-handedly by a proclamation in the House of The Republic by the third term debate. Mm -hmm. In that debate, my my former president and leader was actually saying he wanted something like the French constitution. You understand? Seven years continuous, that's when you have election. The people of Zambia said five year terms. Never again are we going to have anyone changing the constitution to suit their feelings. This seems to be the main subject matter that he went to address. And he spent three hours. All of a sudden, he departed from his speech. The nation will record that there were a lot of debates, protestations and contestations towards the enactment of 2016 constitution. I think you know, we all agreed. In fact, some of us, we are wondering, some of the honorable members of the house who are now ministers, they were drunk on the floor of that house during the debate on that same constitution. I think you know them. You can go to the daily answer. Jack Mwimbu. <laughs> some political parties such as the UPND started to walk out of the uh, legislative process. They were actually part of this document. So I was shocked to hear that he didn't know how it was done. Because the 2016 constitution was done jointly by the ruling party, the Patriotic Front, and the UPND, and the other members of the House. So he is squarely responsible. If there's a lacuna, he needs to come out and say, Section 5, Subsection 6, Clause 5, and refer it to us to debate as a country. Yes. It is not for him to sit at community house and start dreaming that the chair has become so sweet that he wants to grow himself to the chair. <laughs> However, when the same constitution they had been demanding was finally given to them on the 5th of January 2016, the UPND members of parliament in the same house where they, where they had been protesting again protested by walking out that they did not want the same constitution they had been demanding. They had said they wanted the Ernest Mwansa draft document to be tabled. And then when it was tabled, they said, ne, so what are you <laughs> This was the worst form of, of disingenuous from uh, leaders. Although the UPND seemed to have been playing what they believed to have been politics, it must not be allowed. Politics must not be practiced in a hypocritical manner. No. Politics must be practiced truthfully and responsibly. Yes. In fact, politics should never be played with regard to the Constitution. We have seen our friends on the continent and elsewhere where people want to shred the Constitution, what happens? Mm. What follows next is anarchy. Anarchy comes from street, not from the highest seat of the land. I expect anarchy from the street because you are not getting water or you are not eating. But Zambians are peaceful. Zambians know 
You love your land. You know that 13th August 2026 is decision day. Yeah. And therefore you are calm. Even if you don't have lights for five days, ten days, you are extremely sober. Yeah. And I, I thank you, my dear friends and brothers. Yeah. I praise you for your resilience because you are a people that loves their land. Yeah. And we don't want any one of us. We said no in 2000. We are saying no now. Yeah. Again, the background, every caring citizen must condemn UPND government and especially President Harainde Shirema, with regards to the conduct and the condescending manner with which the Zambian people have been, are being treated and subjected to this debate on the Constitution. Our 60th Republican president actually at some point said, these people want to amend the Constitution. Who was the first one to rebuff that? Himself. Yeah. But why should you start the fight again? Yeah. I'm Dara Naim. The Zambian Constitution is a very important document which is enacted by the Zambian people for themselves. As is stated in the preamble, you can even know when you open the preamble, it says, we the people. It doesn't say the president. It says, we the people. It can therefore not be subjected to cheap, dangerous, and productive politics in the people's house. There is no way a president can change the constitution. If he wants to change the constitution, we will change him. Yes. As we have agreed. Yes. If President Haka in the HLM thinks that he can now start preparing the people's mind to a possibility of postponement, we now understand. He cannot even pledge Milastics or Mingarato. We have understood his statement that he wants to prolong the election from five years to 13 years. Five plus eight is 13. You understand that? Five plus nine is 14. He wants to be in office illegally for 14 years. For 14 years of darkness, 14 years of hunger, 14 years of exporting your maize to other countries while you're suffering. <laughs> to the president, we wish to categorically say Step back, my brother, from such irresponsible and, and constitutional thought.
not your own my president who who have lost legitimacy of presidents who have lost legitimacy to seek refuge in tampering with the constitution. Oh. Zambia fought the late president Shiluba when he attempted to do exactly what you are trying to do. There was no, there was a third term. <laughs> there was a third term and the people were not hungry. The economy was doing extremely well. Yes. There was power, there was everything. Yes. There was the dollars in the banks. Yes. And the people are moving freely. Yes. And the President Chiluva never, never unearthed the colonial legislation of seditious practices and espionage, Imagine. which were used in the colonial days. But even without doing that, we still stopped him in his tracks. Yes. We shall fight. Yeah. The people will fight. Yeah. The country will fight. Yeah. We shall not allow you to stay beyond 13th August 2026. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. President, you are personally not happy with certain clauses in the Constitution. And we know where uh, there are many which we urge you, if you really want, to come out clearly. And uh, coming out clearly is about negotiation. But one of the clauses you can't negotiate is a 50 plus 1. Mm. 50 plus 1 is non-negotiable. Non 50 plus 1 allows us not to have minority presidency. It started from when we had the, uh, our uh, late president, Mwanawasa, 28% of the votes, and then his president. And people said to themselves, 50 plus 1. And look, be honorable like our sixth president. Yes. He should have been the one resisting putting 50 plus 1. Yes. But he said, so be it. The people want it. That is honor. Mm -hmm. So please don't temper with that. There's no mistake. There's no hole. There's no lacuna. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We are a peaceful nation. We love to wake up. Even amongst us, even if poverty be, be, hits us to the core, we love to wake up knowing that I can walk on the street. There will be no stones on the street. People are peaceful. They are waiting for things which are said in their documents. We always love debate as a people, and that's why we debated the third term. The Oka. The Zambian people and UCA's message is that we should not relent on our responsibility to improve our people's welfare by constantly making ourselves laws of our land that provide protection for individual rights, provide their ways of resolving disputes between citizens. There are issues here in our land which we should address in our constitution, like foreigners getting huge tracts of land under the so-called exploration rights. Like Zambians who want to do artisanal mining, who have to go to foreigners from Canada to seek for permission to have artisanal licenses. Those are the issues we need to discuss as a people. How do we secure the resources for ourselves and our children? As it is now, Zambia is just being said to be a net exporter of raw materials. That's why you hear the lobito of Banguera root. It's just exporting. But what is our role? We have gold. Who is taking our gold? Who is taking our emeralds? These are the issues that we should be addressing. And I would be very pleased to go to community house to share ideas on how we should empower ourselves yes. as a people. Yes. But when you talk of annihilating and shredding our constitution, I cannot come to community house. <laughs> if anything, Mr. President, the lacunas you should be talking about addressing in our constitution are with regard to excessive presidential powers. Yes. It is because he has excessive presidential powers mm. that even the people in the judiciary are scared, People in the executive are scared. He is the all and the mighty, the only one. 
So we in Iuka are not scared of addressing, reducing the presidential powers because we want a president who obeys the people yes. and obeys the constitution. Yes. So we don't want a president who wakes up and say, tomorrow I shall sell the challenge. Tomorrow I shall sell state house. Tomorrow I shall sell Mopani to my friends. We want a person who can be checked by the constitution. Yes. I can tell you, friends, that on earth there is no one who, whom you should believe in their benevolent behavior. Mm. That's why even in the Bible, as my elder brother was saying, even in the Bible, there were rules. I always tell people that if it were not written that Jesus shall die, in the Garden of Gethsemane, what did he do? He says, my father, can you let this pass, cup pass? That is at the lowest ebb of a human being. Yes. But it was written that the Son of Man shall be crucified. Yes. It was written. That's a constitution. That's the best constitution on earth is the Bible. Yes. And I urge my brother to read that and be able to understand that power comes from God. It does not come from where you are seated. Exactly. So we need to curb the excesses of the presidency so that we can secure our national assets. Yes. Right. Uka has no reason or qualms about reducing presidential powers because it is not about the president but about all of us today and in the future. Yes. Long live the Republic of Zambia. Long live our constitution. Long live the people of Zambia. And we urge you in poverty, in sorrow, please, Keep the peace. <laughs>